For years, we've all been promised a world of seamless mobility. But the reality is that just getting the pictures off your mobile phone is still a hassle. The main problem is that you or somebody else has to install and configure each and every application across all your devices before they can work together. What's needed are applications that can install and configure themselves for you. Devices that make this possible now exist. They are called Dart devices. Brian, show us interoperability done right. While Dan was talking, I started a Dart slideshow application on my Nokia phone and took some pictures. In a moment, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to share those pictures with my family's Dart devices on that table. But first, it's important for you to know none of my family's Dart devices has the slideshow application installed. When I select Share from the slideshow menu, the application first goes out and finds my family's Dart devices wirelessly. And then it'll present me with a list of those devices that can display the slideshow application. I'll select our family's TV set-top box, my wife's palm, my daughter's Macintosh, my son's HP phone, my office PC, and my Nokia phone. Then I'll press Connect. The application is now securely spreading itself across my family's Dart devices and the application will be running on six different operating systems. Please keep in mind, none of my family's Dart devices had any previous knowledge of the slideshow application. Dan. Not only is the application spreading itself, but it's also configuring all these devices to work as one. So now, if I change slides on any device, they'll change on all the devices. And I can add pictures from any device. I'll use this Nokia phone to take a picture of my hand, and you can watch as it spreads across all of Brian's family's devices. I can also print from any device. I'll pick an appropriate slide, and I'll select print from the menu, select this picture, wallet size, on the Canon printer exposed by dad's office PC. With Dart, there are never any drivers to build or install. In fact, any Dart device can print on any other Dart device that supports printing with no setup whatsoever. Brian, show us interoperability done right in the home. Now I'm going to show you a Dart application we call Crew which is currently set up to manage content across my laptop PC, my daughter's Macintosh, and my office PC. When I select Add Device, the application goes out and finds nearby devices and gives me a selection of devices that I can add to my existing crew. When I select my Nokia phone, the application inspects the capabilities of the phone and then selects default rules to synchronize its content across all of my computers. When we use the phone to take pictures, as Dan has been doing, the pictures will be automatically distributed across all the computers in my home. You just saw the entire setup for seamlessly connecting that phone with my computers, three button presses. If I go on the road and use that phone to take pictures, when I come back to my home, the pictures are automatically distributed across my computers, and then the memory is cleared in the phone. I don't have to do anything. Interoperability done right means that everything should be that drop dead simple. Dan. I'm sure there are still many of you out there thinking that true seamless interoperability will happen only when pigs fly. So we have one last dark device to show you. These pigs contain a $1 Bluetooth chip with a dark control panel application embedded in it. So now anybody's dark device can find and fetch the control panel and make pigs fly. Brian, show us interoperability done right one last time. So dark devices like this Motorola Q phone come with a dark remote application. Yeah. 
Bear with me. When I select the application, it goes out and it retrieves, it finds the nearby devices that have remote control panel software, and then it'll present me with the list. When I choose flight control, and now you'll see just how easy it is to make pigs fly. Come to Pavilion 24 to see more examples of interoperability done right. Thank you very much.